Good afternoon, Standard One. Um, for today's lesson, we are going to, we are still going to use um, space elements, but um, the technique that we are going to use today is overlapping technique. I'm going to explain the concept to you so that you will understand how to do it, and then after that, you watch the whole video if you have any questions. You can ask me through live chatting in our Microsoft Team Art channel. Okay, right. So, what is overlapping? If you see in the dictionary, overlapping means uh, when you place something over the other other things or other objects, or it is. Um, it also means to cover one object with another object. Um, so that it looks like uh, those objects are on top of each other or the other one is um, in front of the, ad, the, the first object. And an um, overlapping technique also means that you place um, one object on another object to create an illusion of, of depth, which means that it's very... Um, when those things are put together, okay, you can see that they are very um, they can either be near each other or they are behind the other one or um, and also it can you can see that that your drawing looks more 3d than uh, the usual drawing okay so for today's lesson for your overlapping technique you are going to use um, a few other elements which is shapes elements lines elements and also color elements where you are going to use shadows, cylinder shapes, and also fine lines or thick lines to draw your, um, to do your drawing, okay? So for today's lesson, we're going to do something easy, um, a basic object, which is your pencil or your pencil color, okay? If you want to do, um, if you want to challenge yourself, you can choose other objects, but I will show you how to do it with pencil color first. Okay, you take a few pencil colors, and then maybe you can put it, um, place it in front of you, so that you can see how you want to draw it later on. So let's say you place it like this, and then that is the three pencil colors that you are going to draw. It will look like this. Okay, so maybe you can put it aside first. Okay. And then you can do the drawing. Okay. So let's say I want my pencil color to look like this. Uh, just the green one. Green one here. And the purple one here. Sorry. Green one here. Purple one here. And the other one is at the bottom, like this. Okay, can you see it? The peach is on top of the green one, and the purple is below the green uh, pencil colors. Okay, so I will put it aside like this, and then start my drawing. Which one should I start first? I need to start with the the one at the top first. Because that's the first pencil color that you are looking at, or that's the first object in your drawing. So you start with the uh, the peach color. Okay. Draw a line, cylinder line, and then what shape is this? Okay. You can do a straight line like this. Or you want to be more creative, you can do something like this. It will look more 3D later on. Okay? And a fine line like this. Right? And the second pencil colors that you are going to draw is this one. The second pencil color is the green pencil color. So you can see the shape is uh, down there. Just draw it like this. same sides. Try to make sure that they are 
they have the same size draw a little longer you can use your ruler right. so here the the lines the zigzag line in your pencil color the tip okay next one the pencil color at the bottom the purple pencil color it should be below the, the second pencil color so you draw okay zigzag line triangle and the tip of your pencil dash okay now you can start with your coloring so remember I told you just now you need to use lines Okay, colors, shapes, and one more, value, what is value, shadows, and light, right, so when you are coloring, you decide where is your shadow where does your shadow come from so let's say this is your source of light okay so the shadow should be behind the source of light so this area should be darker i will shade it like this darker which means dark green and also this part darker dark a darker peach color or you can use light brown and also here darker dark purple all right i will also include the example to you later in the assignment files okay if you don't understand you can ask me in the microsoft team um, art channel all right you can start if you're done you can um, share your drawing through private chatting or also you can upload it in the file if you are done okay that's all